Hey everybody, Canadian Gamer, Kamichi Gas with another Pokemon Sun and Moon build video. Today we'll be talking about everyone's heavy tank favorite Ultra Beast known as Celesteela. Now honestly, this is my favorite Ultra Beast out of all of them. This thing is amazing. I was kind of sad though that there were no, um, I guess like ice Ultra Beasts, but this one is cool. This is a steel flying Pokemon and it is by far a powerhouse. Now this set is a little different than the one that I normally run, like I always ran the expert belt, give it a bunch of special attacks, boost up its HP and special defense, and then leave it at that. No, 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 this one is meant to be a bulky troll set, but that can still take down annoying threats like Ferrothorn, Scizor, and other Pokemon like Fortress. Now, our investment, since he has pretty low H base HP, well he doesn't really, I guess, have low base HP, but... It's not the best in the world. We are going to give him max EV investment in his HP and in his special defense with some in his defense. We are running careful nature, so it's plus special defense minus special attack. Now, yes, you're all looking. We have flamethrower, and you're probably like, why minus special attack? Well, we want our invest. We do not want heavy slam to be affected because with his weight class that he's in, heavy slam has a base power of 120. And this hits a lot of fairies, like Rabombi, uh, it hits things like Florges, uh, Mega, 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 what the frick is the giant bird? Mega Altaria, things like that, you know, Clefairy, or not Clefairy, Clefable, Wigglytuff, you name it, all those Pokemon, Heavy Slam will hit. Then it has Protect, Leech, Seed, and Leftovers to, you know, just sap away at Pokemon. You could also run Toxic instead of Flamethrower, but there are quite a few Poison Pokemon in OU right now, and Toxic may not be the best set, uh, bet. Not as many Grass-type Pokemon. There are still quite a few Grass Pokemon, you know, like Decidueye and Delmize and things like that added to the move, added to the Pokepool. I don't worry about that. But yeah, your main stab is going to be Heavy Slam. Flamethrower is here just to get over things like Ferrothorn, uh, Scizor, and... Uh, fortress now this thing you have to watch out why we are running specially defensive is because a lot of our weaknesses are special such as fire and electric I believe those are actually our only two weaknesses they are too and very few of them are physical like sure you'll run into like incineroar or arcanine that do run physical but a lot of them do have special as well so and we do have a slight investment in defense. You probably won't see it that much. But with 103 base defense, that is pretty awesome. And then maxed out, we have a defense of 243 and a special defense of 331. As well as an HP of 398. So we can take some pretty good hits. Now honestly, this thing is just meant to be a wall. You normally wall core this with uh, another wall. Like this is your specially defensive wall. Now you have to find a physically defensive wall to go with it. Um, I personally like to run this with a physically, uh, physically defensive Arcanine. Uh, you know, one that has, like, Morning Sun, Extreme Speed, Flare Blitz, and stuff like that. That is my personal opinion. Leave your personal opinion in the comment section below. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. I do Let's Plays, I do Pokemon content, and I do Indie Games. If you guys like this stuff, remember, please remember to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys all next time for another Pokemon Sun and Moon build video. Until then, stay awesome, guys. Stay awesome.